think it's a little early today, and uh, it looks like uh, everyone's had must had a good time. I have konnichiwa here, but I think uh, I should start off with ohayo gozaimasu. Is that the right way? Okay. So, morning. My name is Wook Lim, and I'd like to kick off today by doing a 20-minute uh, talk about why Samsung is getting into the blockchain business and perhaps how we can go about working together to increase blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and basically overall the entire economy, ecosystem rather, so that we can try to push what we believe is a fantastic technology further into the future. So what am I going to be covering today when it comes to my presentation? Well, there's primarily three things that you see here, our vision. So basically, what do we see? What do we see in this industry? What do we think we can do to accomplish great things in this industry with you as our partners? And secondly, what's all the brouhaha? What's all the fuss? So allow me to share in the coming slides why we're, we feel very strong in our position in this particular space and how we can work together with you to make our positions even stronger. And then finally, I have a little bit of a sneak peek that I want to share with you when it comes to something that we're going to be holding in Silicon Valley in a couple of weeks that I'd like to invite you to. So let's go ahead and, and get started in regards to our vision. So what's different about what we view? Why, why are we getting into this? Why do we feel that our Galaxy devices can be a great part of this ecosystem? And at the same time, how can we define our leadership in this particular space? Really, we feel that we have the right combination of getting our products, or rather, getting this technology out to the masses. I think all of us here, as we see these events get bigger and bigger with more audiences and more participation and whatnot, we're looking to somehow crack that nut where we can get our technologies out to the masses, create that true token economy, and get everyone involved when it comes to what we believe is the right way to go when it comes to everything related to the internet, everything related to the blockchain, everything related to cryptocurrencies. So we feel that at Samsung that we have the right combination that can help you with this if you were to partner with us. And now we're having some technical difficulties. So Samsung wants to leverage blockchain technology as one of our key feature device feature, device features, how? I suspect that those that are, in, that are in attendance probably already have some sort of cryptocurrency, right? And I suspect that any of you, because I see nodding heads, probably have some sort of hot wallet today. How many of you in this room, by a raise of hands, maybe I can see everyone here already, how many of you also have a cold wallet? Wow, we have some serious folks here. This isn't gonna make my presentation any easier. I'm kidding. <laughs> We all know that when it comes to hot wallet, it's necessary. We all know that for this token economy work, having some sort of wallet to allow the tokens and coins to be transferred, sent, received, and whatnot is required. But we also know that when it comes to these hot wallets, there are some challenges. There's been some incidences in the past that we're all aware of where various t wallets have been compromised, various companies have been compromised. So how do we avoid that? You do that by getting yourself a cold wallet. You now have an offline vault where you can securely keep everything. You yourself become the bank, you control your funds. The, some of the challenges with the cold wallet, not that they're great, is that they may be a little inconvenient, right? You have to stick them into your phone, into your PC, or whatever it may be. Well, how can Samsung fix this problem? This is how. So the root of what we're providing is really security, convenient security. So this is the stack that I wanted to share with you in regards to how we see how we can combine the convenience of a hot wallet with the security, peace of mind security, of a cold wallet. So you'll see here that there's three layers. The most important step is really the bottom, but let's work from the top down. So at the very top end of the framework, you'll see the wallet and the various different dApps that you would be able to access and have different types of interactions. Then you have the Samsung blockchain Keystore SDK. This facilitates and allows partners like you to help create different types of integration so that we can now present different offers to the masses of customers that we have. And then finally, the Keystore. And how is our Keystore a critical part? Well, it's because Samsung has been very, very aware of the need of security in mobile devices. I don't know if many of you guys are aware of this, but um, there's a product that Samsung has that's called Knox. It's our mobile security platform. Long story short, with Knox, what we can do is we use specifically designed chipsets where we can take any digital certificates, keys, and whatnot, and etch them into the metal. It is not in the software layer. It is not in the application layer. It is down into the chipset itself so that it cannot be, maybe I should be careful for this, it cannot be 
hacked, it cannot be touched. It can, it, we have not had any incidences of any of these types of negative things that, have, that many of us have seen in, 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 the, in the industry today. So what we do is unlike um, perhaps some of the hot wallets, we keep all of your keys, we keep all of your uh, certificates within the key store so that you now have a secure place where you can go ahead and of course authorize, authenticate the various different tra transactions that you're trying to do with your wallet when you go about uh, using your device. Make sense? If you need more questions, please come see me afterwards. And so how do we make this easy? So we saw earlier on the, on the earlier slide that we had the technical specs of how we do things, but on the outside, when it comes to users, all they care about is that it works, right? It's secure, it's easy, peace of mind. So we do this by having a, a crypto wallet on, on, on the surface of our device so that the users themselves can go ahead and do all the normal things that you would normally do with a crypto wallet. So you can send, you can transfer, you can receive, do all the things that you want. At the same time, on the dApp side, we're trying to build out a dApp marketplace. So imagine, let's say today you have different types of app marketplaces, whether they be the Play Store or whatnot. What if Samsung can, with your help, create a dApp marketplace where we now have a location where people can go and see all the various developed apps that you guys have to offer? Again, come see me so we can talk about this. And so that they can now be able to quickly and easily look up your products and leverage your products so that we can continue to grow this ecosystem. So what are we doing when it comes to trying to increase this? Well, back in the spring of this year when the S10 launched, that's when we first had our Samsung blockchain platform built into our S10 device. And we only started off with four dApps. But you, you'll see that by the middle of the year, we were able to increase that to, it says 19, but I think it's actually 20 now, just one more. But we're really trying to make this a lot, lot bigger, and we're trying to accelerate this quite rapidly. And the way we're gonna do this, again, is by talking to folks like yourselves that are building these types of products for the users that are out there. We wanna to talk to you, we wanna partner up with you, we wanna come up with different, innovative, exciting, incentivized promotions so that our product sets, our combined product sets, can be very accessible and very appealing to the user ma mass that's out there. And we're gonna do that, and we're gonna really start exponentially increasing this marketplace because what we'd like to do is not only talk to the individual development themselves, but we're now starting to speak to the various mainnets and protocols so that we can use that scalable one point of contact to reach out to the aud massive coding audience that's, that's out there so that we can try to bring more and more of the various wonderful dApps that are out there into our marketplace. So what? Why Ethereum? Why are we here? Why am I speaking to you about this? Well, it's because Ethereum was the first mainnet protocol that we went ahead and, and implemented. So already, we already have a SDK that's ready to go. You can go ahead to Samsung's website where we have our free SDK. You can go ahead and download it. You can play around with it. Create. Let's partner up. Let's bring great things to life for folks that are out there. And when it comes to support, you're not going to be alone. Within the SDK, we have different... When you download this key, we have different points of contact when it comes to various types of technical support that you require. And also my team is there where we can start engaging with you so that we can try to help you troubleshoot and maybe even rise a little bit more quickly through some of the color that may exist when dealing with a large company like Samsung. So this is really the value prop uh, slide that, that you may be interested in. What's in it for you? Why Samsung? Again, starting with this presentation, I started off by saying that we're trying to grow this together. We're trying to make this mainstream. We're trying to get more users to understand what blockchain is. So many times when I'm talking to folks, even within the company, when I say that hey, I'm working on blockchain, the comment that I always get is, oh, I lost some money when it came to Bitcoin, when it came to ETH or whatnot. Well, it's, it's more than that. And this is what we're trying to develop together. So Samsung can bring our massive marketing engine Samsung can bring our number one position as the global leader in mobile device OEM market share. We can also go ahead and leverage what we've already built out in terms of the SDK that's ready for you. And what we're trying to do with me and my team is we're trying to reach out and talk to you folks so that we can come up with, again, different types of incentives, programs, marketing uh, promotions so that we can try to make, create awareness and to get more and more folks involved in this. And I think at the end of the day, whether you guys are trying to do this out of the altruistic sense of your heart or trying to do this for profit, you need customers. We both need customers. We need awareness. And that's what we're trying to build. So where can you get more information? 
We are holding all, as well our own developer conference. It's the Samsung Developer Conference, and this will be happening on the 29th and 30th of this month, and it'll be in San Jose. We move it around just like everybody else does. And I think when it comes to the central theme of what's being done, you guys are probably accustomed to it. So we invite you to show up and, and please learn. And at this particular event, it's not just about Samsung Mobile. It is about Samsung and all the consumer electronic goods that we deal in. So if you're doing different things and you're looking, and you want to get more information about different parts of Samsung, all that is available there. All of our experts will be there. All of our technical folks will be there, business folks, and even our VPs who make most of the decisions on what goes and what doesn't go. So a great place to be. Just want to share a little bit more information in regards to what uh, it's about. You'll see that when it comes to attendees, it's geared specifically for folks like yourself. We'll have different types of exhibits. We already have plans in regards to who we're, we were going to be having as exhibitors at our event. We'll have various keynotes of people that are much smarter, better looking than I am, so that you can certainly get some great information there. And then we'll have different types of lab sessions. We'll have your different networking session. The one that I'm kind of curious about is, I don't know what this activation capture the flag wellness session is. So that's the whole reason I'm going. <laughs> so hopefully that will be some, some exciting stuff that we can both, both learn together. And then when it comes to certain sessions that may be of interest to you, um, there's three sessions listed. There's actually four. The fourth one we didn't list because it's basically this session over again. So if you didn't get enough out of this, you can go ahead and listen to it as well. But you'll see that there's three other sessions that may be very appealing to you. We'll have different people on our product team, people on our dev team, that will speak a lot more in depth in regards to what Samsung does, how we go about managing the key store, how we go about doing various things so that we can try to bring, again, the best of what you have to our, to our mutual consumer base. So that really draws me to a close in regards to what I want to share with you. I really plead to you to come seek Samsung when it comes to your blockchain endeavors, when it comes to your cryptocurrency endeavors, and let's talk about what we can do. Please consider coming to SDC 19 San Jose on October 29th and 30th, and please come see me. I'll be the one wearing blue shoes. You can't miss me. And we'll talk about how we can partner up together. So thank you very much.